Ah, Genjutsu. <laughs> A name that echoes through the corridors of the Shinobi history, invoking both fear and awe. For those uninitiated, Genjutsu is an art of illusions. It is so much more than just mere trickery or sleight of hand. It is a psychological weapon, a silent symphony of control that can bring down the mightiest warriors <laughs> down to their knees. Picture this, a battlefield, chaos all around, swords clashing, jutsu flying, and amidst the turmoil, one shinobi stands tall, and that shinobi goes by the name of the other. <laughs> Pleasure to make your acquaintance, Mr. 81. You see, you don't know right now, but you have already been caught in my genjutsu. <laughs> As soon as you stepped on this court to face me, you were caught in it. Oh yes, get your points, make your buckets, shoot your shots. It's not gonna matter in the end anyway. It never matters in the end. You see, unlike ninjutsu or taijutsu, which rely on physical prowlessness or elemental manipulation. Genjutsu targets the mind. It is the art of deception, exploiting the senses to manipulate perception. When caught in my Genjutsu, the victim may see, or in your case, hear, feel, even taste things that are not real. <laughs> you see, your mind becomes a canvas, and I, the caster of this Genjutsu, well, I am the painter, crafting a reality that is terrifying, as it is convincing. You see, you thought you were going to win, didn't you? Yes, yes, you did. Don't lie now. You thought you were going to win. <laughs> but I am a great caster. <laughs> you didn't notice anything different. You didn't notice the people only cheering for me. You didn't notice? <laughs> How silly of you. But you know what truly makes the Genjutsu a suitable technique? Well, I'll tell you. A skilled practitioner as myself doesn't need any type of displays. I don't need any type of hand signal. Just a single glance, a whispered word, or some type of fleeting, almost innocent gesture. These, these things are enough to entrap you, whether you like it or not. <laughs> you see, it is a dance of shadows where the line between what is real and what is not blurs until you, my unsuspecting victim, can no longer trust their own senses. <laughs> Look where we are. Look what we have done. You, my willing participant. You will never leave. And I will always win. <laughs> I'm sorry I've made you think you had a chance. Actually, I'm not. <laughs> oh, what's wrong? You thought that you were going to get the out-of-bounds call? <laughs> no. 
you get nothing. <laughs> You see, in a blink of an eye, the victim is transported to a world where time and space will bend to the will of me. Seconds in reality stretch into days, months, even years within my genjutsu. Imagine the torment. Imagine the torture. You see, I am something that you cannot withstand. I am something that you cannot forget. You see, I just don't provide technique. I am the technique. <laughs> and you, my second victim, understand something. The first victim I played around with. With you, little one. You will feel all the pain. You see, Genjutsu doesn't just only create illusions. No, no. It rewrites reality. The victim is unaware that they are under its influence. Their thoughts, their actions altered to align with my will. It is the ultimate form of control. Bypassing the conscious. Resisting everything that is in my way and planting myself into your subconscious deep, deep in your subconscious. I am a puppet master. <laughs> Just pulling invisible strings, shaping destinies to what I see fit. And yet with all this power, Genjutsu is not without his weaknesses. I will admit that. It demands precision, a deep understanding of the human psyche, to wave a flawless illusion, I must anticipate every action, every thought, every move of my target. And you, little man, were easy to predict. You see, your awareness is a double-edged sword. A potential key to breaking free is that you must realize that you are actually in the Genjutsu. But what I ask is, who's next? <laughs> <laughs>